I'm noticing how I came across this two situations, right? Now, the first time it revealed itself to me was was about a year ago. Before I went on the road as a truck driver or while I was on the road as a truck driver. Remember this guy was like, as he was walking past me, he was like, mumbling under his breath, like slightly loud enough where I could hear it. He was like, if it's money, we gonna take it. In my mind, I'm thinking of the blessing. The reason for me going through the experience, the reason for me experiencing the things that I'm experiencing and going through the things I'm going through. You know, it's all a test, you know? So, um, test the spirit, you know, and everything like that. So, I really didn't pay much attention to it because I'm like, take? I don't think so, right? So, I let that fly by. So, yesterday, as I was in the DMV, I was taking a test to get my license back. And um, I was waiting to go over and take the written test. And the guy was like, um, some wild C now. He was, he was a little off, but I don't think he was off. He was just, by, the, by his eyes, he was uh, controlled. I would say he was controlled by, you know, the dark side. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know a person who put their faith or submit to God, you know people who put their faith and submit to Lucifer. That's more of a bondage type of thing, and the look in the eyes is different. The eyes is the one to the soul. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? So um, he was like, uh, he knew that somehow he knew that my mind was to go get a Benz. I'm gonna say these Benz, right? So this nigga walk around like a bum, you know what I'm saying? You know, whatever the case may be, and I'm still talking to him, you know what I'm saying? But the energy he brung was, was off to a point. It just threw me like off, like, whoa, what the fuck? So I'm thinking, how can I end this conversation respectfully? Because I'm just going over these last, you know, few questions or whatever the case may be. And uh, before I go over there to the booth and take the test. So he's sitting right next to me. He was like, you know, asking questions or whatever like that. I'm like, maybe he crazy. He don't see him in the book and talking to him and looking in the book. But I'm talking to everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's me. I talk to everybody, you know, and everything like this. I don't care who you are. You know what I'm saying? I'm always happy, so I spread that joy. You understand what I'm saying? And people are accepting, uh, you know, receptive, receptive of it. You understand what I'm saying? Some throw it away, try to th hoard their negative energy when they see they can't stand up against the power. They fall and they sit and wait, vultures, so they can throw their negative energy, their little ne negative bombs and shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. So this one here was just, you know, um, looking for a loophole, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure he see the swirl around, you know, so, but I'm in the middle, calm, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, push gonna shove. He was like that he had the bins, and that he got robbed for a bins. And he would give me $30,000 dollars. Because, you know, we was talking about restaurants and all this or whatever the case may be. Even though I know he was messed up in the head, I knew that they send these type of people. I've said this plenty of times. They send these type of people that they know I won't say, well, what you want to do? You know what I'm saying? They send these small, thin, skinny-ass people like I supposed to just get mad and say, nigga, ooh, I beat your ass, nigga. No, I never, I never, I never was that type of person to go out and rah, rah, rah. I would, I would just hit your ass and your shit. You know, that was just me. You know, this ain't a negative charge. You know, this is straight up positive. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that know, no negative comes my way. I never was the type to go rah, rah, no matter where I've been. So they want me to give that impression. 
to be that, you know what I'm saying? Especially for all these people. Like, you know, come on. Anyway, that's not going to make God take a calling off. His calling does not come void. His word does not come void. You know what I'm saying? How the angels go go up to heaven and say, oh, we couldn't uh, uh, make sure Mike get his blessing because Lucifer. That would make God a lie. And Lucifer the truth. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. But anyway, what's at that point he was talking about that? So I'm thinking like, and now went back, mental roller depths, flipped back to that time I was on the bus, and dude was talking about if it's money, we gonna take it. And then he know how the fuck I don't tell nobody shit. Maybe until it's at until it's done already, been done. You know what I'm saying? Now how does nigga know I'm gonna get a Benz? Talking about the year, the kind, and I'm like, man, this is Satan. Or he see the monitor spirits, and the monitor spirits letting this dude know who out the bed of Schmitty, and then talking about thirty thousand dollars, you know, you know. <laughs> and that's the price of the car. You know what I'm saying? Thirty thousand dollars. And I'm like, no, to start a restaurant, you need 200000 Well, I'll give you 200000 I'm like, come on, man. You know, you know, you sound crazy right now. Anyway, man, it was just one of those things, whereas if another person is going through, you know, a certain type of experience in the spiritual sense, you know what I'm saying, and certain stories can motivate, certain stories can um, be insightful, or a person can gain knowledge from it. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I put the whole thing out there so people can actually see and learn from and say, yeah, I've been through that, or I've been through a similar situation. Yeah, yeah, this is how mine went. You understand what I'm saying? Or people will say, yeah, you know, you already know what that is. So, you know, what they saying is lying. They lying to all these other people, you know what I'm saying? Because there ain't no such thing. If you can communicate with Lucifer, Satan, whoever the demonic spirits, what make you think God can't communicate with his people to tell me that the person that's in front of me is full of it? You think that's not happening? It's happening many times, but I don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't say nothing. I just sit there and just, and I learn. I sit back and I'm quiet and I learn. So going back to fucking grammar school from a shorty on up the times that I wasn't saying anything I'm watching because I originally wanted to be an anthropologist an anthropologist sit, sits back and observe behaviors of coaches so that's what it was okay I'm not gonna have a shorty you know at a young age because look what happens you understand what I'm saying I'm not gonna continue smoking drinking because look what happens dialysis people with these big things in their veins people that continue to smoke cigarettes they got this sound coming they coughing a lot you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna continue doing that you know what i'm saying and uh i work out stay healthy eat healthy i look at these people oh they, this is where it is this is where it is i look at my body after eating and drinking the smoothies or whatever, the veggie drink or whatever. Oh, this was happening right here. So let me get back focused. So when that happened around 2010, 2011, when I was talking about going to school originally, that's when I became homeless. Now, 20, 2008, that's when I became homeless. You know what I'm saying? Satan don't want you doing right and then you being a light and then for other people to see and say, you know what, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. That's why a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, walk around with my style. Some of them sit and watch and be like, you know what, what he got on, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that and, uh, and rock that myself. <laughs> I'm going to do that and rock that myself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. It's wild, man, you know. But if a person talking about they gonna rob me for a Mercedes Benz, you know what I'm saying? Just like when I had the blue Cadillac, dude was acting like he wanted to rob me. I said, go ahead, the keys in there. 
You know what I'm saying? You t when you're talking like you, you jealous because I got the car. That's what you sound like. I don't give a fuck about that car, nigga. I slept on the ground. That car ain't get me out of no fucking well. Dig you know what I'm saying? Understand that shit. So you come up talking about you gonna, you gonna rob a motherfucker for some shit? It ain't gonna be a robbery because I'm ready to get it to you. Call the insurance company. Yeah, I'm finna go make this report. You know what I'm saying? They, they, nine times out of ten, it's gonna be gone after 30 days. Guess what? All that money coming to me, blue, 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 the blue book value coming to me. You's a bitch. Come put your hands on me. But you don't want to do that. Come by yourself, put your hands on me. This ain't no tough guy shit. You already know how I get out. You telling these people lies, man. You telling these people lies, man. Sending all these skinny, weak ass niggas my way, man. <laughs> what like T I say? You know what it is, nigga. You don't wanna see me, you bitch, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, man. They talking about, oh see, I told you. He negative. No, ain't no negative. Ain't no duality, cause I don't I don't believe in that duality. Garbage. You know what I'm saying? God is a jealous God and he's revengeful. Meaning if you mess with somebody or you put something out there in the atmosphere like I was to say, oh, they're gonna rob me. Don't come on man. I ain't always lived in High Park. Come on man. Come on man. There's one thing that you shouldn't do is mess with somebody. Robbery. Come on, man. I'm going to cut that show. Yeah, okay.